Hey everyone, and welcome back to Art a la Carte. In this episode, I'm gonna show you how to draw a koi fish um, in a pond, kind of looking down at a pond. So what I'm gonna do first is I'm gonna start off with just a circle for kind of the head of the fish, and then I'm gonna create the backbone. And you don't necessarily want the backbone just to be this straight, straight line. Usually they're kind of curving and cruising around in the, in the fish you know, pond, whatever. And so they have a really nice flow to them. So I'm gonna take this backbone, I'm just gonna kind of sweep it, have a little nice little arch to it. And then with this shape here, you're gonna create this kind of um, weird teardrop shape. It's not gonna come to a complete point, but you're gonna have this shape kind of follow that backbone line out, but as it comes up towards that circle of the head, it just gets a little bit fatter, and as it moves down towards the tail, it's getting a little bit tapered, a little bit thinner. And then you're kind of want to just create that kind of cool shape. Once you have the shape that you like, then we're going to go ahead and create the back fin. And the back fin, um, you're going to kind of create this a little bit of a triangle shape, kind of a very narrow triangle. For the back fin there. Right about at the end of where your circle is, as it's beginning to start tapering down, you're going to create these two triangle loops that kind of come up. Depending on the breed of the koi fish you'll have, you can have really big side fins or you know really narrow side fins. And again, just drawing really lightly so you can kind of go back and fix things up however you need to. All right, so there we have kind of the body. And then just for a little detail of the face, as you're coming up here, you're gonna kind of block up just where the lips are a little bit. It's gonna kind of block up a little bit, just like so. And then some, I'm not sure all, but I know some of them have these really great little mustaches. Little tentacles, kind of like a, like a catfish almost that kind of come out from the sides of their face. So once you have this all kind of created out, then I'm going to take my eraser and erase the lines that I don't need anymore. So once you have the lines kind of cleaned up, there's a couple things I want to look at. Back here at the back fin, you don't want to make just a straight line. What I would make is kind of a wiggly line, and you'll kind of see that. So as I'm making this line, I'm kind of wiggling my, my pencil very slightly. It's going to give a little bit more texture. Because what we're going to do is here is we're going to create a line at the top. This is kind of the... the thin bone, I don't know, it's a little bit thicker. And then there's the fin, the kind of the webbing. I'm just gonna create that using some lines. And by creating this textural line right there, it just kind of helps give that illusion of a, kind of a texture there. Same thing here with this, this top fin here, there's the kind of fin bone, I guess. I don't know the technical term, sorry and I'm gonna create that kind of fin texture coming out just very lightly with my pencil. I can take and erase that a little bit and again, make that just kind of a little bit of a jiggly line. All right, our koi has a few more fins on it and it has this back fin, which is kind of hard to draw um, because it's looking straight at you. It's, it's coming right here. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna start right just a little bit between these two side fins. I'm gonna start with this kind of where that backbone line was. And I'm gonna go down about halfway. And that's the, the fin line. And just to kind of bring it out and down just a little bit. And you can bring just a little bit of lines coming up a little bit. I create your little side fins. And then they have these little tiny itty bitty little baby unicorn fins. Right over here. You can see a little bit of them over here. And then they have, you know, their eyes right in here. And you're going to use your foreshortened circle, kind of a circle that's kind of squished. Because you're looking down, it's going to kind of deform the, the view of the circle a little bit. Just like that. And then their mouths right here. And there you have the drawing of your koi fish. So pretty simple. You can put a little bit of detail with the gills if you'd like. I'm giving a little indication of where the gills would be on the fish. Just depends on what they're doing. Sometimes their gills are really flush to their to their body. Sometimes they have them flared out a little bit. But the fun part with 
koi fish is coloring them because they have these awesome coloring. Um, usually they, I mean, they can be a solid color. They can be completely white or completely black or completely orange or completely red. Um, or they can be a mixture in this really cool pattern. Um, so really, you can have some fun doing this. So what I'm going to do is I'm not going to color this fish for you. I'm actually going to show you a speed painting that I did. Or actually, not a painting. It's a, uh, a drawing, and I used colored pencils. So I used the same technique to draw this koi fish and then just went crazy with the coloring and details. So hopefully you like this, uh, this painting, drawing coloring, whatever it is. So I'm going to be back at the end of that painting to kind of give some closing comments and all that fun stuff. So enjoy! incredibly insane drawing my hands are so tired but it was fun um, there's actually a lot more that I could do with this picture in fact I might tweak it just a little bit more I'll put some photos of the actual completed picture at the end um, but first I just want to kind of show you see I used the same shapes and ideas that I showed you at the beginning of this video for drawing the koi and then just kind of really went crazy um, with the pebbles. And the pebbles were super fun because they're all different and unique. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial and it was fun. If you're interested, uh, for those of you interested in this actual drawing, I have this listed on my Etsy shop so you can head over there um, to either purchase this piece or if you're interested in purchasing this piece or any of my other art pieces, check those out. Really, really helps me to pay the bills and uh, allows me to be able to continue to create these art tutorials for you here on YouTube. So I thank you everyone who has been buying my, my drawings. I just really, really appreciate it. That's awesome of you guys. Um, so yeah, I also love it when you guys send me photos of the pictures you do. So um, if you draw a koi fish or whatever, make sure to post it on my Facebook page, Instagram, or Twitter. The links are in the description box below. And thanks also to those who actually send me things in to my PO box. I love getting mail from you guys. All the cute little drawings and things that you guys send me. And I do hang those up and enjoy them on my wall of fame. So I have my PO box in the description box below as well. So, huh, I think I've yammered on enough in this video, so I will let you guys go. Have fun drawing, and until next time, God bless you guys, and we'll see you later. Bye-bye!